Yo, hit the sub, hit the bell, let's get into it. So today we're going to be reviewing a fragrance called Dermes Intense Vetiver, or All Intense Vetiver. I made a bottle of this or an atomizer of this out of the African Imports, Imports Body Oil. As you guys know, I use a lot of African Imports to kind of gauge and see what scents I may be into. They do a really good job at developing a, a very close depiction, if not spot on depiction, of various colognes and various fragrances. Here, I actually made an atomizer of it as well. And I'll use this on, you know, day-to-day -day basis to keep with me, to take with me. That way I don't have to carry the whole bottle of oil. And this actually isn't a lot. Uh, it's just a one ounce bottle. I have some four ounce bottles right up here on the shelf you can see those are a lot bigger than the ones that are on the second shelf which is the one ounce and on my third shelf you can see the actual atomizer bottles let's take a look at how i've made the atomizer for this particular fragrance so here i have the actual oil you can see the title a lot better hermes intense vetiver for men i have my atomizer here i have some uh pipers here some little pipettes Two plastic ones, one for the alcohol and one for the oil and my grain alcohol. So I'm going to take, take off my atomizer bottle or atomizer top, set that to the side. Uh oh, I actually dropped that. I'm going to unscrew my top and I'm going to take one of the pipers here and I'm gonna place into my atomizer bottle. This fragrance right out of the bottle is extremely loud, extremely strong. So I don't wanna make this concentration as high as I normally would. I normally do about 50, uh, 50 to a 60% oil concentration. With this one, I'm gonna do more so uh, right around 20 or 30. Cap that up. We're going to take our alcohol and we're going to fill it the rest of the way. Again, this is a 190 proof alcohol. I believe perfumers alcohol is like a two, like a 200 proof. So we're, we're right in that ballpark. And we're just going to fill that up the rest of the way. And we're going to set that to the side, cap that up. And we're going to take our atomizer top. We're going to place that on top. We'll screw that down and then remove the top and ensure that the actual atomizer is on nice and tight. Put the top back on. And there you have it. Now, you'll want to give this a few good shakes just to make sure everything is well incorporated. And I have my label here that I printed out. I got a few other ones that I got a label as well. I'm gonna take some clear tape. I have like packaging tape that I use and put that on the label and then place that onto the bottle. That way water, if, hit, if water hits the bottle or a little extra oil from my hands or something like that, that way the label won't get ruined and I can see what type of bottle this is. I can see what fragrance this is. And there you have it. And you can see the oils getting ready to bind and mix really well. And you're going to give that a few good shakes. About 20 shakes should do it. This stuff will mix and bond very well and very quickly. And that is that. Uh, making this was super simple. Like I said about this one, this particular oil, this particular fragrance is pretty loud. So you don't need much about 20, about 20 percent concentration should do it. Maybe even a little less, depending on how loud you want it. I noticed that just coming out of the bottle, it's extremely loud, extremely obnoxious. But it's in a good way. It's very fresh. My initial impression on this is the grapefruit, the grapefruit, the lemon and the vetiver right off the bat i can really get a lot of very loud that pet black pepper comes in i don't know if it's black pepper i think it's a different type of pepper but i know that the peppery sort of notes come in and that helps out and gives it a little bit of a spice 
but it's not necessarily a spicy scent. To me, it's more so very loud citrus, a very fresh green kind of feel with the, the note layout, but it's not a lot of green going on. It's more citrus, wood, floral, a little bit of pepper, really nice. Definitely something that I would wear in the fall. So I'm just something I'm going to be breaking out uh, really soon, poss possibly even tomorrow. I love it. I love the way this smells. It just has a really nice presentation. I think the dry down is going to be the part that I enjoy the most. The initial opening is, like I said, it's really, it's really loud. You don't need, a, and I probably won't need a lot of this at all. One on the chest, two on the wrist, be done with it. Um, you see, it's got some amber wood in there as well from the note layout. I can see the amber wood coming in, warmth, a little bit of a woodiness, kind of calming down and kind of relaxing a little bit and becoming more of a, a really nice skin scent, really nice warm skin scent. The citruses are so loud that I feel like those are going to play out all throughout the, the fragrance. The grapefruit isn't something that's like dissipating and going away quickly or disappearing quickly. It's sticking around and hanging around quite a bit. I like it. Overall, first impression, I give it a seven and a half, eight. I really like it. I'm going to wear it for the next couple days and see what reactions I get out of it, see if I get any compliments or anything like that. My wife smelled it. She liked the way it smells. Uh, she was noticing the grapefruit note as well. I think I think it's a really nice scent. I really like this one. I like the fact that it is loud so I can kind of gauge it a little better how I want to compose my atomizer and, and how many sprays I want to. That is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.